Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, I'm back and welcome all of you to my new video tutorial. This tutorial is somewhat different from the others uh, that I have been uploading for last couple of months. Basically, I used to upload some videos tutorial uh, on basically Python programming and that is based on ArcPy in ArcGIS and Python window. So today I thought about uh, shifting my uh, focus from Python to JavaScript and this is all about Google Earth Engine. You know that the very uh, growing and kind of popularized platform among especially researcher. So as I'm also learning as well as using you can say that so i thought i should share my thoughts and experience about uh, the learning and the outcome with you guys that's why uh, i just came up with this video concept okay so let's get it started uh, without further delay as usual so to get started with Google Earth Engine, first of all, you have to search in any browser, search browser like I'm opting for Google Earth, uh, Google search. So you just need to search like Google Earth Engine. Once I search for this keyword, uh, yeah, a couple of links underneath so the first link I'm hitting on let's see okay this is called I mean Google Earth Engine a planet planetary scale platform for earth science data and data analysis so <clears throat> this is an introductory video basically uh, there are a couple of options there from uh, given ones we will just uh, use only two one uh, code editor and documentation so uh, we will work basically on code editor before that uh, let me uh, introduce you with the documentation what is inside in this options okay so documentation basically consists of comprises of stores a lot of information about the code i mean metadata about the code how to use it and uh, what sort of parameters you can use and all other things are explained very transparently and to the point so if you just hit on the get started option it will be populated with this information kind of thing code editor something like that look javascript quick start here explain the uh, rules and uh, quick rundown about javascript and the object literal function each and everything here is very clarified so if you get stuck in any coding any concept you are not understanding you can just get back and have some grasp about uh, the code that uh, you are stuck in so we'll get back to it uh, even I mean when we have we felt some problem so from platform I have already said that basically we are going to use I mean documentation and code editor so right now i'm just going to the code editor code editor is the main interface or platform where we will be writing our code and getting our result using the map image on this map as this is going to be an introductory video about the interface uh, options and functionalities that google earth engine does include and moreover how does it work what are the pros and cons of using javascript versus python language in terms of using i mean a google earth engine 
uh, I will talk about a little bit uh, all those things. So first, uh, let's uh, draw your attention to the scripting option. Under a scripting option, there are more options called owner, writer, reader, archive ex examples. But however, I mean, out of these uh, five options, only uh, we have uh, access to a couple of options like owner. Owner is the person who has, I mean, opened up or registered, logged in using he or him, his or her a gmail account into google earth engine in that case uh, the owner is me uh, here one thing i want to uh, remind you that you have to uh, get registered uh, for google earth engine uh, before coming to this uh, interface until or unless you uh, get registration approval from the google earth I mean team you are not allowed to use this and for that case uh, if you can use I mean institutional ID to shoot your email uh, from which that would be more that would be faster than I mean using Gmail account for me initially I just try to uh, get registered using my Gmail account However, it took times more than expected. Then I thought about using my institutional email and it worked very, very fast. Even I just got, I mean, approval within less than uh, an hour. So uh, you can uh, keep that in mind while, I mean, using any email for registration. If you have an institutional ID, you are lucky one. Otherwise, no problem. You still can try with your Gmail account. Anyway, so uh, this is the owner section. Here you can just store your output, uh, course, anything. Uh, all the things are going to be deposited here. Writer section has no access for us because uh, writers, writers are those people who have developed uh, this uh, interface. I mean, Google Earth Engine team. Uh, so we have nothing to do with this section reader somewhat I mean like this but sometime it gets I mean access us but right now I have no access uh, archive is nothing uh, uh, it just I mean uh, something like, like a depository that kind of thing but mainly we are dealing with the example section okay for example section look uh, there are many I mean subsection uh, it, these are basically some sort of functions uh, which are needed or required to use uh, while importing or extracting your, your image, analyzing uh, anything, I mean, for research purpose, for, I mean, project. Uh, the inbuilt function are there. For example, like uh, from, okay, yes, uh, from name, if I just uh, click there uh, the code already I mean just uh, been there so this is another code sample you can drag from uh, here to uh, there so that's all uh, about I mean example section and now let's proceed on to the documentation I mean doc section uh, doc section is all about uh, the uh, metadata about the uh, module or function uh, created by the Google Earth Engine. Uh, you can get help from this section exactly if you are stuck in any source of, I mean, code. You can get back and you can just, I mean, get an idea. Like algorithm, there are a different type of algorithm. Uh, masking is needed for uh, I mean satellite image like Lancer, like Sentinel. Uh, this all are algorithm and it's it's explained very clearly. For example, let's uh, check out with the classifier. There are some prominent modules, machine learning and deep learning are based. I mean, uh, modules are there, so you don't need to. 
uh, write your own code the code is already there you have to just I mean understand and read out the code and drag from there to here like classifier decision tree which is mainly used in I mean uh, like uh, random forest model uh, there is also I mean some um, something that you can explore it I mean bit by bit so this is all about doc section and uh, proceed on the next section is assets assets is something that you can deposit your codes uh, in the cloud it's uh, something like about uh, it's just like a Google Drive so Google Drive uh, you can use it to store your data now let's proceed on to the next window called uh, new scripting here you can write your code script your desired code and then you can get the output in the next far right uh, window call uh, in a section console so there are some associated options linked uh, to this a new scripting window kind of namely get link save run reset apps uh, more prominently and frequently we're gonna use I mean run option once you are done with your code I mean writing your code then you will need to use this option run the code and you can also save your code for later use this this option and you can also send your code by generating a link get the link so let's randomly write a code in JavaScript format print hello world hello world okay in javascript convention at the end of your code though it's optional you can you need to use semicolon so print semicolon if i hit the button run look here the output whole result is is being showed in console uh, I mean section so JSON uh, is like um, is another I mean programming language mostly in uh, used in JavaScript HTML and CSS I'm not gonna uh, I mean uh, tell it about in details I'll make another video for JSON anyway so this is all about new scripting uh, the gist is that you can write your code save your code also you can get any link based on this code and send it to your fellow colleagues uh, friends anyone who needs your code and you can, you can also reset your code clear this script look clear and you can just uh, begin from this scratch you can also generate an app so that's not our part exactly now uh, let's just I mean head over to the far right part uh, one already you have been acquainted the task of this console is to show uh, the output of your code that is written here and the result will be appearing here uh, in inspector is assigned to work uh, uh, for mainly to like uh, click on the map to inspect the layer okay so when you have a layer uh, generated or you have extracted uh, any image layer on this map then you can uh, use this uh, inspector option a console and task task is something like search or cancel multiple tasks in the uh, you, uh, I mean, be familiar uh, bit by bit once you are handy using it. So this is all about briefly the options, the functionalities, the interface of Google Earth Engine. That's all for the time being. Uh, please do check out my next video, which is going to be an essential one, a link video to this one, uh, where I'll be talking about how to get started uh, with your 
uh, very first code uh, writing in the Google Earth uh, new scripting window. And then using that code, I'll be showing how to extract or load an image on the map. So please don't miss that video. And I hope you have liked this video. If you have, please do subscribe to my channel. I'll come up with another new video. Till then, bye-bye. Allah Hafiz.